we have the uh, Neanderthals podcast, mm -hmm. Instagram edition. Instagram ed you know, yeah. it's just been hard for us to meet up, like, I know. between just enjoying life to organizing life to I just need some time to rest, you know? Mm. So, but I'm glad we got to hop on and do this. But yeah, 2024 has been a doozy. <laughs> It's just been so much stuff. Like I just felt like you know we can't say we didn't know because Cat Williams said it. Cat Williams did say it. We can't Cat act Williams like where are we coming from? Why is it so? It started off mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. bullshit. So yeah, from the Cat Williams to the Monique situation, mm -hmm. the whole Taraji situation. Now we yeah. got Diddy, girl. Now we got Diddy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like we was talking about before, like uh, celebrity culture, Hollywood, like it's coming, crashing down. It's falling and down. I, I don't feel bad about it. I feel mm -hmm. like it's been a day late and a dollar short. Mm -hmm. And I just hope that we continue to talk about it. Because I mean, even I am getting to the point where it's like, oh, I'm tired to talk about it. There's always something each week, mm -hmm. something happening. But then, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. but shit is happening. Mm -hmm. And I can't keep turning a blind eye on it. We have to keep talking about it because it's it's so horrible. And like, unfortunate, I'm just, it's just so sad to know that like a lot of this is affecting the younger generation, like the quiet on the mm -hmm. set, the ditty. Mm -hmm. like, it's just, it's so sick. It's but I so think, sick. You know, it needs to be said and it needs to be brought to mm -hmm. life because it's gonna uh, avoid other people walking into the same yeah. trap. The same, and not so. trusting just because they got millions and billions of dollars. You should not be trusting them. You should not be trusting, you know, an organization just because they have some kind of status. That does not mean, mm -hmm. that does not equate to Trust no their one. ethics or their mm -hmm. morals. You mm -hmm. like, did you watch The Quiet on the Set? I did not get it. It's on Hulu, right? Mm -hmm. now, you know, I just that got Hulu. I stopped stars and I'm about to, so I'm okay. about to watch that definitely. But I've heard a lot about it. I've heard it's, they only got the tip of the iceberg. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not even talking about, I mean, the big mm -hmm. stuff, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it, it's really just getting into just you know, some background, and it's heavy mm -hmm. though, it's very heavy. It's yeah. Very heavy. I, I tell all of them, trying to stay away from heavy like, stuff, but take it with a grain of salt. Like, I wasn't gonna watch. It. I usually don't watch documentaries and true mm -hmm. stuff, like like mm -hmm. true life stuff. But I was talking to one of my coworkers, and she put into perspective for me. She was just mm -hmm. like, you know, because I was telling her, I was like, I grew up on this, and like my childhood, and I, you know, I don't want to know. Like, but she mm -hmm. was like, you, you, that's even more reason why you should hear their side of the story because, mm -hmm. you know. These are the people who like influenced you and you loved, you know, the Amanda show mm -hmm. and all that. All, like you should hear their side and note, you know. And it's did true. you ever did Amanda ever say anything? No, she never oh, so not yet. So it's only four episodes. So they do it by episodes. Uh -huh. Um they show Amanda Bynes all throughout, like clips of her, mm -hmm. her relationship, mm -hmm. how close she was to this guy, and mm -hmm. um, well, how he was grooming her. See, even like how I talk about, it, I want to be more active. cautious. Yeah, mm -hmm. because these are kids that we're talking about. It's not she was yeah. close to no forty-year-old mm -hmm. man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, it's like so. I know something big happened. They didn't say they yeah. This is just hearsay right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. They didn't get all into it, but they've been showing clips of her um throughout the entire show, saying that like she was his favorite and stuff. Um, but Drake Bell did speak out, and that was uh, pretty heavy. Ooh, was, I saw a little bit of his, and yeah, that was tough. Yeah. Like, and how they just push you know parents out. They push a lot of parents and other kids who did speak out it's not like mm -hmm. no one spoke out. people did speak out and they pushed them out like mm -hmm. you know they tried, tried to turn them against their parents mm -hmm. they said that the kids aren't coming back all because a lot of parents was like hey what's going on like mm -hmm. you know and they have registered sex offenders working working like behind the scenes on, uh, mm -hmm. no, but on set, on Most set. Of the kids. yeah they had two of them it's crazy 
I didn't know that. That that's <sighs> that's what I'm saying. Was... Like they're they're planning. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of tying it to Diddy, mm -hmm. there is the clip of uh, Diddy was on all of that in 2000, early 2000s. Uh huh. <laughs> and it was like it was like a little clip that I saw um, the other day. It was like these mm -hmm. boys. They were coming up and they're like, "Hey, Diddy, we we're trying to wake up like our friends." Mm -hmm. any advice and he's like oh pour sour milk on them do this and he's like we did that we did that he's mm -hmm. like oh i know and he gets like a helicopter a toy helicopter he's like put this down their pants down the boy's pants so the kids go and do that and the boy starts screaming because they turn the hell it's like a robotic helicopter mm -hmm. and they turn it on and it's in his pants and i'm just like you know as a kid you don't think anything of it you're just like oh a little silly mm -hmm. like, that's so crazy to do mm -hmm. but now it's like like with all this going on, I'm like, oh my god, like I don't know, it's so crazy because it's like you also have to be in the period of more women speaking out. Mm -hmm. You know, Cassie spoke out about Diddy and then we she's had the whole She's music. really the one who started this. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, she's like, definitely the one that got this ball on the fucking roll. Because she's yeah. even in the um she's gonna be testifying against him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Cassie's testifying her. against him. A few people are testifying against him. But, you know, she started off all this during, you know, last 2023, I think in November, when it was like the last time to file these situations. But mm -hmm. she posted, I mean, was she filed and she won the case, or not necessarily, they settled. They settled. Yeah, she and yeah. So we thought that was going to be the end of it. Mm -hmm. But then right after that, there was a few more allegations of some women that was accusing him of SA. And yeah. then um, then the little Rod thing happened. Oh, my God. Where he uh, started throwing it. Little Rod said that everybody <laughs> oh, Rod this And that's recent. And you know what's interesting? It's like, you know, because I am more of a pessimist, but I also believe in a lot of conspiracy theories. And... Um, it was interesting is that when like stuff was happening with, you know, uh, why do I always forget this man's name? Anyway, mm -hmm. when stuff happens with celebrities, especially with Black and Brian gonna lie, I'd be like, oh, you never know. Maybe they lie and they always trying to take us down. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Because it's, that's the truth too. Yeah. But, like, with this Diddy situation, like that didn't even cross my mind. I think because like one, all the people who are speaking out are people who've known him for years mm -hmm. and like aren't doing horribly. You know what I mean? So it's not like, oh, they have, you know, they mm -hmm. need the money. They need it. But like, that's not really the case in this situation. Mm -hmm. And then also it's like, did he has a long history? Like, I mean, a lot of people think he was, you know, um, the one who was like basically charging people or hired a hitman and killed mm -hmm. him. Like, and he also was like allegedly like shot someone else in the club like another woman like this is all in like the 90s but it's like he's mm -hmm. always been in some kind of like major mm -hmm. thing and that's, that's crazy because it's like we're getting into this i think i was telling the same before where we're getting more conscious we're getting more aware and we understand that's why people are more protective with their boundaries. Boundaries has been a big word last year and this year. Like, um, excuse me, I got burnt. <laughs> <Did the right. laughs> and I went to Egyptia. But, um, but yeah, speaking to like what people were getting away with, because there have been allegations about Dr. Dre, a lot of people that did some outlandish stuff. Um, and they were able to get away with it because we were on, we were vibrating at a lower consciousness, so we didn't see that these things were wrong, along with the Nickelodeon thing. You know what I'm trying to say? Like yeah. we were vibrating at a different frequency, so we didn't put we couldn't put two and two together and say this don't feel right. Like you know, yeah, this don't look right. This don't. Why are my kids watching this? Like they're it's, sexualizing it's, it's, things and coming to mm -hmm. light to be like, oh, mm -hmm. it's just.